Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mini Talks. Today is September 11, 2021. It is the uh, 20th year anniversary of 9 11. Uh, it was about this time, about around 8. In New York, uh, and I think I was still waking up during that time. And um, when I went to drive for work, uh, the two towers were already burning. And a few hours later. Uh, those two towers were technically toppled down. So two planes crashed on the World Trade Center, one of uh, New York's tallest buildings. So today I'm driving again to work. It's already almost nine o'clock. I think it's nine o'clock in almost nine o'clock in New York. And as I open the, the television, I've seen um, the commemoration started with President Biden, uh, the former President Obama, and Clinton. says uh, George Bush might be driving by and no less than yeah, let the, the former president Trump but I have to go work today I know it's a Saturday but so this is a sad day for America and for the world. More than 3,000 people died in that day and 6,000 injured. So we are celebrating today. And I think everybody's taking a moment of silence just to honor those who perish and all those innocent lives who perish and uh, today is a day of remembrance for those innocent lives and uh, it should not happen it should not have happened you know, if we all learn to respect one another So this is my 9-11 tribute. I know it's a still dark, but I need to get to work by 6.30, so. So hope you have, you're celebrating yourself and praying for those who died and as well as their families. Uh, it was so touching. Um, with Diane Sawyer, who was the one reporting 20 years ago, and she has a, a special treatment where she followed the children that were born uh, after 9-11 from the parents who perished on that day. So, and if you look at the faces of the children with their uh, parents, there is just a resemblance of, you know, a young child 20 years ago and the parents who were there, uh, either they're working at the World Trade Center or they were the firefighters who went to save um, people. 
escape, escape with that tragic day, so. So I hope you have a good day today. So this will just be a short 9-11 tribute. And yes, it's still um, early, 6 o'clock. I know it's still dark, it's getting dark now, and um, usually 6 o'clock, it's bright, but since we're moving towards uh, fall and winter, so it's dark early in the morning, still at 6 o'clock, it's still dark, and then um, it gets darker early at night as well, which means that we're observing more uh, nighttime than daylight so and I think the daylight saving time will be adjusting adjusted again I'm not sure the exact day uh, we have this uh, term fall backward spring forward so um, when the time changes for daylight saving time, um, it's fall now, so we're gonna uh, set the clock one hour backwards. So, so and I think um, for 9/11, all people have all those who were you know, alive or who were, um, who remembered that day has a story to tell. So, I woke up uh, turning on the television that day and the news of the tower and, you know, picture of burning tower. Then I was getting to work right that day my, myself and my aunt who I drove to work uh, around 6.30 we were still uh, at 6 o'clock I think we were uh, listening to the news on the radio uh, in my car and then uh, as soon as I got into work uh, I dropped off my aunt and then I went to drive to my work and uh, we opened the television uh, at work. I think I was at school. And there we saw um, how the, uh, the tower fell down after a few hours when it was hit by uh, the plane. Like a suicide plane. So it was a tragic. was in a classroom that day so uh, the students saw how the tower fell to the ground and, um, yeah, it was a sad moment for uh, America and for the world I guess and um, after that day after I looked at the clouds there was not a single plane it was so Usually here in Long Beach, there are planes, uh, helicopters, uh, and we, uh, so we're pretty close to the airport, and there is always, you know, we always say, oh, we're close to Los Angeles International Airport, and I always see planes on on the sky, but that moment. Not a single plane flying in the air because of the prohibition against after that incident that there were two planes hijacked and crashed intentionally to the building. So I hope everyone will have a 9 
nice commemoration today as we celebrate 9-11 and as we continue to observe peace and quiet and, and honor the dead. Okay. I know it's a sad day but we need to be we need to look forward now and be hopeful that such a heinous crime now will never will never happen again. Okay, this is many talk saying thank you and good day. So always stay safe and healthy. I know we're still in the pandemic and yes. 20 years seems like a short time, you know. Okay, have a good one and have a good day to one and all. Bye.